Guys, just to prepare you, this is one of my longest videos ever, since it's a group toy review, so yeah, sit back. Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Now I highly apologize for screaming in your face right there, but I was just so excited. Today, we're going to be reviewing this, um, <clears throat> this group toy review. Now, this is my first group toy review in a long time, and I mean, seriously, a very, very long time, like. I was literally 10 years old when this was made. Look at that date. And that's my last group toy review. Until this one. So anyways, this group toy review is going to be for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line. And I'm doing quite a few. So we're going to go from smallest to largest. And I will note that some of these have been um, already unboxed. So please forgive me for that. I was just too impatient to review them. So yeah. So once again, we're going to be going from smallest to largest. So let's start out with the Dinosaur Trainer Owen figure. So here's Owen, and you can already tell that the face sculpt looks exactly like Chris Pratt, the actor. Yeah, it's really good. I'm, there's actually a surprising amount of detail for such a small three inch tall figure. It's actually, I think, three, three and a quarter. Yeah, and it's also, it looks like it has amazing articulation. Yeah, for su once again, for such a small figure, it's just, the sculpt is so good. Wow. So I'm sure y'all want to know the articulation. So the head can move um, 360 degrees. Really nice range of movement. I wouldn't do that too much because it feels sort of fragile. I mean, it is an $8 three inch tall human figure. So yeah, the joints are really small and delicate. So yeah, I'd recommend being a little bit more careful. And he can move up and down just a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. And um, his arms, forearms can go 360 degrees. And his elbows can move this far up approximately and about this far back. And I think they also have a swivel to it. Yes, they do, but it's a very, very tight joint. I'm pretty sure that the swivel in the, in the elbow can move 360 yeah. degrees. Yeah. Same thing with the other elbow. The exact same articulation. I just noticed that there's actually a joint in the torso, like where the torso connects to the leg piece, the hip piece. This easily could have been missed. This tells you how much Mattel cared about what they're doing. Anyways, the hip also can move this far up and about that far back. It doesn't really go back that far, but it does have an outward pivot, so he can do a rather painful looking split. Yeah. And there's also knee articulation, so it has a backward swing sort of joint, and it can also turn. So this thing is packed with amazing articulation. I'm so surprised on how much care they took for even just this particular little three and a quarter inch tall human. For the uh, accessories, he has this very interesting looking chest, chest plate. Oops. He has a very cool looking chest plate, and it, um, it fits him, obviously, so um, you can put some armor on him. And he's also got these arm, oh no, I dropped the camera, whoops. Um, he's also got these arm protection things, so like if a dinosaur tries to bite him, like th that'll protect his arm. It's because that's why he's called Dinosaur Trainer Owens, because this is probably what you probably should wear if you ever even attempt to train a dinosaur. There's also one for the other arm, of course. And he also has this very interesting looking sort of futuristic, weird looking shield. And then like, I guess if a dinosaur tries to bite his face off, he can like put the shield above him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually like this armor. So you could get some awesome looking posability with this figure with the armor. He looks like something somebody you would never ever want to mess with.
Also, I apologize for me shaking. It's because I just took an inhaler, and uh, like an inhaler makes your blood go a little bit faster, so it makes my hands shake. So that was the dinosaur trainer Owen. Next, we're gonna try the mercenary and the dimorphodon. So here's the mercenary and the little baby dimorphodon out of the box. So first let's check out his accessories. So we get this really cute little baby dimorphodon. It's not painted. I might paint this to, you know, match the colors of the actual dimorphodon in the movie. I don't understand why they couldn't have just painted this like they did with the baby blue figure. But yeah, it's actually made of like a very soft, pliable rubber. So you can like make its wings flap. And you, I guess you could... Kind of close the jaw. It takes a little bit of work. And its tail is very pliable. You can actually see the surprising amount of detail that went to this tiny, tiny little toy. You can see all the little feathers. Once again, my shaky hand. Yeah, this is really good. Good toy. And the mercenary comes with a super huge looking sort of taser, sort of taser gun looking thing. The, the little, like, lightning bolts on the tip of it look slightly cartoonish. Yeah, it's not the best accessory in the world, but it's cool. It's got the little details on it, like the, the handle. Nicely, nicely done for its size. And finally, the mercenary. So this guy is really cool looking, sort of a G.I. Joe-esque sort of figure. And he has the same exact articulation as the, um, Owen... Oh, dinosaur trainer Owen figure and yeah he's got really cool little details like his sunglasses and like his chest his like um like bulletproof sort of chest plate I forgot what material it's made of and you know they even added the detail for his like his the like the metal part of his belt that's really cool and he also has this really sort of cool looking um, holster for his gun. Too bad you, it doesn't come with a gun you can actually put in the holster. That would have been cool. But yeah, this is a very nice little figure. Very nicely detailed. So once again, he has the same articulation as the dinosaur trainer Owen. Got a head, head that moves all the way around. Um, slight up and down movement. The forearm, elbow. Same thing with the other arm. Hip, outward pivot. Yeah. So yeah, all of these little humans have very nice posability. Next is the Owen and Blue figure. Now this has already been unboxed. It's because I was just too impatient to get this one to 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 like just review like unbox it while I'm reviewing it because this one is. One of my favorite Owens of the of the entire all of the toy line is because it looks just like um, his costume in Jurassic World, the first Jurassic World, not not the second one. He has a slightly different costume in the second one. I think in the second one he has a darker colored undershirt, like than right here. Oh, and also if you want to know what his packaging looks like, then uh, here it is. Yeah, it's got the volcano in the background, and also the it also offers what other what else they have. He also comes with this pretty cool looking man bag. Yeah, I guess since this is supposed to take place like this whole little set of like Owen and Blue, like it's supposed to take place when Blue was like a baby, the Velociraptor Blue. So um, I guess he had to put like little pieces of meat in here, or knife possibly to protect himself. So yeah, this is a pretty cool looking man bag. <laughs> He also comes with this very, very small knife. I'd be so scared that I'd lose this thing like the day after I unboxed it. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little knife. Surprisingly detailed, finely detailed for its size. You can see the little screws on the handle to keep it all together. And there's a little peg. Apparently you can like peg it into like onto his body somewhere. So like you can, it looks like it's holding it or something. Yeah, pretty interesting. 
Next, we have Baby Blue. Now, this is very nicely detailed for its size. It's very small. It's actually made of like a soft rubber, so you can like move her around. You can move her legs so you can like make her run or something. And she's also got like a very bendy sort of bendy rubber tail. Yeah. And um, her eyes. Um, a lot of I've seen a lot of reviews of Blue, this little Baby Blue model. And a lot of them, her eye was like very slopped. So, oh man, it's focusing. Her eye was very slopped, but I made sure that I bought one that had no eye slop. And this one has no paint paint slop, which is good. I just noticed that um, on her right side, the stripe continues from her eye, but on this side, the stripe stops before her eye, which is pretty interesting. I, I don't think I've ever noticed that in the movie. I don't know, I guess they only did that with the Mattel dinosaurs. I don't know, to get, like, give it so, sort of a unique feel. Yeah, cool little blue figure. So finally, we have Owen. So uh, he's got the same exact face sculpt as the dinosaur trainer Owen, but he's got a different costume, which it looks pretty cool. I like it. And these, um, I just can't get over how much the face sculpt looks so much like the actor. Wow. Pretty good sculpt. And he's also got a belt that's detailed, his pants, his shoes, and of course, you know, the very um, large amount of articulation is included in this one too. Yeah, very good toy. Oh, and why is he wearing his watch upside down? He was doing that in the trailers too. I don't know, that just drove me crazy that his watch was upside down. I'm like, Shoot. Turn your watch around! It's because I'm sort of a perfectionist, so everything has to be perfect. So before we get to the largest toy in this group toy review, we'll check out the story pack Gyrosphere and Claire. So first let's look at Claire. Now, um, it's a really good face sculpt. Wow, it looks just like Bryce Dallas Howard, the actor. It's pretty good. Everything on this is 100% accurate. They've even got the right outfits and the same like boots and everything. And yeah, the, this this one's face sculpt is pretty good. There's actually one coming out in fall. It's not a story pack, it's just a regular human. But that one actually looks even better. It looks even more like Bryce Dallas Howard. It looks like she's been shrunk to be three inches tall. It's so amazing how, how much this, this one and the fall version look like the actor. And I like how the shirt is, a sep is separately applied, except you can't take it off. But yeah, that gives it so much more realism, makes it look so much more genuine. Yeah, the face sculpt is good, the pants are good, the boots. And it also has the great articulation that we've mentioned so many times, so I'm just not going to even go over it anymore. Real quick, let me show you this one's packaging. Now this one looks really cool, I really like this packaging, it's very cleverly made, I like it. Next, let's check out this awesome looking gyrosphere. So. Um, the only thing I don't really like about this gyrosphere is one of the pieces of it is sort of like a cracked looking window, which I wish they just had a, just the regular gyrosphere that looked like this on both sides, and then maybe a piece, like a piece that looks like this that's separate in the, in the set. So if you wanted to, you could make it look like it's cracked. But the best way to hide it when you're displaying it is just put that on the bottom side. And also that, that's kind of helps it stay up a little bit more because it's textured so it holds it up and the coolest part you can actually open it and it's in scale with the figures so you can actually put your human figures in there which is so cool and the detailing in this thing is unbelievable like even even like the back part like the little frame for the gyrosphere it's sculpted it's like a speaker or something there's a jurassic logo right there which i just noticed so yeah you can put your human figures in there and then close it up. You can tell when it closes up because it kind of snaps into place. And then you can take off. And you can see that great element of it, like, you know, like, like the steet staying the right way, which is so cool. This is the best gyrosphere toy we've gotten yet. Congratulations, you haven't gotten bored yet and you're here to see the final toy. And that is the Gyrosphere Blast Vehicle. Alright, so 
So after probably like three minutes of unboxing, I finally got this out of the box. And this is such a cool looking vehicle. Now first let's go over the gyrosphere. So it's got, oh crap. So you can open it. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how you open this, but there's actually a weird looking little cardboard cutout of Owen in there. Looks kind of strange. I got rid of that. I, I, I'm going to get rid of that strange looking cardboard cutout of Owen. But yeah, this is the inside of the little gyrosphere. This one only fits one figure, while the other one, the story pack one, it fits two. But the cool thing about this one, it doesn't have that strange looking, like, cracked glass on one side. So this looks like a regular gyrosphere. But yeah, it's really cool. I like this. All right, so we put act the real Owen in there. So let me store this in the vehicle. Then I'll show you the feature. Of the oh no, oh dear. I'll show you the feature of this thing. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so first, oh my gosh, this thing is so cool looking. This is such an awesome looking vehicle. And it stores the gyrosphere in there. And you can see all the super cool looking little details that's gone into the vehicle. And there's little dinosaur scratches right there. And it's super cool. The coolest thing about this vehicle, in my opinion, you can actually hold medium to small sized dinosaurs. So I've got the Roravores Allosaurus. So I discovered it's actually Roravores instead of Roravores, which is what I thought it was pronounced. So yeah, you can put um, a dinosaur in there and you can transport them. That is so cool. I really like this. Oh man, man, stay there. So yeah. And um, even when you take the dinosaur out and look at the compartment that holds the dinosaur, you can see that is very nicely detailed too. And even like these little steps are detailed. Yeah, there's a lot of work that went into this vehicle. Yeah, this is super cool looking. So this one's feature, it's so, it's slightly cartoonish, but yeah, I'll show you its feature. So I decided it'd be best to show you how this works on the floor. So there's a button right here, and if you press it, it launches the gyrosphere, which is actually pretty cool. I really like this. It's a very addictive little toy. You can see they've even added stickers for the headlights, which they easily could have skipped that, but that is so cool. I love how much care they've taken into this, even this, not just the dinosaurs. And you can see there's something that says 05. That's sort of interesting. And we've also got these really cool looking uh, mirrors. Those aren't, those don't have stickers, but that is understandable because these are relatively small. And um, we've also got the Jurassic logo right there. These things, I'm not too sure what these are. These look like some, some sort of compartment or lights. I don't know what they are. But you, there's also little holes that the dinosaur can look through, I guess. I'll show you another example of like a smaller dinosaur you can put in there. The Battle Damage Herrerasaurus, which this has been reviewed on my channel. Same with the Allosaurus, so you can check those reviews out on my channel. So yeah, like this would be cool like for a little stop motion movie you're making, like, the, like whatever character that's the main character. Look through that little window and then a dinosaur could pop up and that'd be like a pretty cool little jump scare for a movie. Yeah, this is such a cool truck, I can't stop saying that. It's just so, such a cool idea. So that pretty much tops off this group toy review. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews.